Hello and welcome to Bolsover TV. My name's Michael and here's what's coming up in this programme. We visit a woman who's just come back from the transplant games in Gateshead. Parents in Cresswell are taking a fight to Derbyshire County Council to give their kids a chance to get a bus to school. We look at how young and old alike have been getting creative and we take a look at the event diary for the next two weeks. But first, how many of us don't have the time to clean our cars, can't be bothered, or simply let it get so dirty that we can write our own name in it? Don't worry, we've all been there. We might have a solution though. Three young men have been showing that entrepreneurial spirit is alive and well across the district and they've started their own business. It's called Detailing Detectives and we've been to find out more. We're a mobile valeting and detailing business um, and we cover North Nottinghamshire, North Derbyshire and South Yorkshire areas. We started in July 2016, um, so just over three years. So there's three of us in the business, we're all directors and we all have a share in the business. Um, the three people that are in the business are all on our logo, um, just so we keep it personal and people know who they're wanting to expect when they turn up to wash the car. We offer anything from a basic exterior valet right up to machine polishing and ceramic coatings. The reason we're different is we're fully insured um, against accidental damage and things like that. Um, we're members of the International Detailing Association and we come to you. Um, we've got our own water and electric so we can literally wash your car anywhere in the middle of the field. We've, we've, we've actually done some in multi-storey car parks and things before as well. So, uh, they can contact us through our website and we're on all the social media, so Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Now, young and old alike across Bolsover District have been getting creative thanks to a couple of projects from Junction Arts. Residents of Fully Love Court in Bolsover receive monthly sessions of art activities aimed at having a positive impact on their health and well-being. They helped make a variety of arts and crafts, including bunting, which they displayed at their annual strawberry tea. And kids and parents in South Normanton have also been getting artistic over the summer holidays thanks to the Get Creative Kids project. The free workshop gave the youngsters the chance to make things like finger puppets, cellophane butterflies, and generally be imaginative. Hundreds of people took part in the annual Bolsover Hill race recently. Participants could walk, run, or cycle up the dreaded Castle Lane, all in aid of raising money for the Macmillan Cancer Centre at the Royal Hospital. Now, there's been great success for one lady from Shirebrook who's just returned from the World Transplant Games. Diana Reddy won a gold medal and a bronze medal while competing in the Tempin Bowling Singles and Pairs. We went along to meet her to find out how much she enjoyed taking part. Well, my name is Diana Reddy, I'm 36 and I'm from Shybrook. I'm now an international temping bowler in the Transplant Games. I've received three kidney transplants. I competed with people from all over the world. 60 countries came to Gateshead and I played with people from the USA, from Thailand, Hong Kong, Australia, just literally everyone. I enjoyed it my first time at the World Transplant Games. Um, been many times for the British Games but meeting people from all over the world, we have one thing in common, and that is an organ transplant. I got into Temping Bowling because I was asked to, um, to represent Nottingham at the British Transplant Games, and I thought it's a low impact sport for my health, and it's just fun. From spring 2020, uh, the law around organ donation is changing. Um, everyone is classed as an organ donor, you have to opt out, but at the end of the day, your family still have to say yes to that. Um, so we always ask, we always say, pass it on, talk to your family, to let your wishes be known, because at the end of the day, it's down to your family, and it will make it a lot easier on them to make that decision for you once you've gone. <laughs>
Now from one incredible lady to another, and Christine Plant has dedicated over 10 years of her life to the armed forces charity SAFA. She's now been recognized with one of the highest accolades for her outstanding service. Christine was awarded the local Sir James Gildy Award in recognition of her exceptional contribution and commitment to the SAFA's activities and values. Christine was presented the award by the council chairman, Councillor Tom Munro, for her work as a caseworker and for the many years she supported people through the Bolsover Division of the Armed Forces Charity. In Creswell, parents are up in arms about the lack of transport for their children to attend Heritage High School in nearby Clown. Derbyshire County Council have stated the children can walk to school, but this would be at the side of the busy Sheffield Road that often has poor phone signal and is not lit up at night. A public meeting was held by local councillor Duncan McGregor and his fellow county councillor Christine Dale to discuss their concerns such as health and safety, cost and safeguarding issues. Councillor McGregor will be sending a petition to the county council on behalf of the parents. Dragonfly Homes held an open day at their Meadow Lane development in South Normanton recently. Prospective buyers have the chance to look around the properties, talk to the agents and mortgage advisors, whilst the children enjoyed free ice cream and balloon modelling. Dragonfly are also in the process of building properties at their Castlefield site in Pinkston. Now let's take a quick look at the events diary. Cresswell Events Centre will stage a psychic evening with John Sixth Sense on Wednesday the 11th of September. On Friday the 13th of September, Pinkston Miners Welfare will be hosting an event with Diane Gent, who's a medium. On Friday the 13th to Sunday the 22nd of September, St Mary and St Lawrence Church in Bolsover will be hosting their Heritage Open Days. From 7pm on Saturday the 14th of September, Cresswell Event Centre will also play host to a Cher vs Robbie tribute evening from 7pm. Witness expert horsemen in a flamboyant 17th century costume as the Cavendish horses put on a display at Bolsover Castle on Saturday the 14th and Sunday the 15th of September. A Heritage Open Day on Friday the 20th of September will give you the chance to enjoy free entry to explore Hardwick Hall and gardens. Saturday the 21st of September will see some strange figures in Hodthorpe as they stage their annual Scarecrow Festival. Be amazed as Peter Madison Greenwell and the Spanish horses of El Caballo de España demonstrate classic horsemanship and the heritage behind the long-held tradition of displaying horses at Bolsover Castle on Saturday the 21st and Sunday the 22nd of September. And finally, New Bolsover Model Village Residents Association will host their big lunch on Sunday the 22nd of September from 12 noon. That's it for this time. We hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining us. We look forward to seeing you soon on Bolsover TV. Goodbye.